Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at some creative options using Image Trace in Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to start with a brand new document. Mine's 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels in size. Yours can be as big or as small as you like. I'm going to the Swatches panel before I start. The first two options can't be deleted, but everything after that can. So I'm clicking on the first box here, shift clicking on the last and clicking the trash can just to get rid of everything inside the swatches panel for now. I'm going to find the image I want to trace. So I'm choosing file and then place. And I'm going to select a fairly detailed image because I want to show you how to remove some detail if your image is as detailed as mine is. So mine are these gum trees and you can see there's lots and lots of detail in here. There's a filter in Illustrator we can use to get rid of some of that detail. So with the image selected, I'm choosing Effect and then Blur and then Smart Blur. Smart Blur is a filter that blurs the image, but it does keep taking into account edges in the image. That's unlike Gaussian Blur, which will blur everything. So what I'm interested in here is just getting rid of some of the excess detail. When I click and hold in this little dialogue here, I can see the original image and this is now the smart blurred image. And so I'm losing quite a bit of unnecessary detail there. You can experiment with radius values and threshold values. I suggest you keep quality low and mode normal but just find something that reduces some of the detail in your image if you've got an image that has a lot of detail in it. If your image doesn't have a lot of detail in it, then you can skip that step. Now we're ready to image trace. So I'm going to click here on image trace. It's up here in the top panel. If it wasn't available, you could choose object and then image trace. Now the initial image trace is always black and white, so it always looks really, really awful. Let's click on the image trace panel. I'm going to turn off preview so I don't see everything as I make these initial settings. So I'm going to select color and I'm going to select a limited color palette. Now what I'm going to suggest to you is that you use a color palette in a minute that is seven colors. So we're just going to wind this down to seven colors. To again simplify the image a little bit, we're going to take paths and corners to a sort of low value. And then we're going to move noise to a higher value. Now typically these will go together, paths and corners will go together and noise will go in the totally opposite direction. And this is a setting which simplifies the image, low paths, low corners, high noise. If you wanted a high resolution trace, then you go the opposite way. Take paths and corners high and take noise low. But we want a low quality here to get that sort of more interesting feel to this image. So I'm going to click on preview. And what's happened here is you'll see that the image has been taken down to seven colors because I'm about to select the color palette that is just seven colors. Now, if you wanted to settle with this image right now, you could do so. So you would just click expand. But I want to show you how you can actually trace and recolor in the one step. So again, let's turn off preview. Let's go to the swatches palette and let's go and find some swatches. So I'm going to click here on the swatch libraries menu. I'm going to foods and I'm going to vegetables because I know in here there is a swatch that has all the colors that I want in it. So now I'm going to select from this limited option, I'm going to select vegetables. And then I'm going to click again where it says all and I'm going to select the vegetable swatch that I want, which is winter squash. So once I've done that, I can close down this panel and then let's go and trace again. So I'm going to click on preview. And now we're tracing to this color swatch. So I've got a seven color trace that is now colored with the swatch that I chose. I'm going to save that at this point. So I'm going up here to expand and then I'll choose object and ungroup. I can close my image trace panel because I don't need it any longer. Inside the layers panel, you'll see that I have just all the shapes that go together to make this image. Now I have to say that this works a whole lot better on images that have some colors in them initially, not too much black and white. So let's have a look at what else we can do once we've got this image. I'm going to press Control or Command A to select everything. 
I'm going to the Raycolor Artwork dialog by just clicking up here. In the Recolor Artwork dialog, I'm going to click Advanced Options to open up this panel. Just close this for now. Now at this point, you can do one of a number of things. And if you like the colors here, but don't like the order, then you can click here to randomly change the color order. And that just applies the colors in a different order inside the image. And so you can click on this repeatedly to get a color combination that you like. But if you see something that you like, stop immediately because you're not going to get a second chance at choosing that. So if you see something that you like, just click OK and the image will be recolored to those colors. You can always press Control or Command Z to return to the original colors and go back to the Recolor Artwork dialog. Click again on Advanced Options and then you can make some other changes to your artwork. You can also click Edit here to get access to the colors inside the artwork. So say, for example, we didn't like this dark green color. Well, this is where that color is. So I'm going to click on it and it becomes highlighted here. I'm just going to check here to see what this setting is. At the moment, it says when I hover over it, unlink harmony colors. So I'm going to unlink my colors because then I can locate this green, this dark green color and take it somewhere different. So I can fine tune the artwork by just adjusting the colors. So if I want this next to green color, I'm going to target it here. And here it is, it just gets highlighted. So I can choose a different color for it. And again, if I wanted to change this green color, here it is. Now, as well as just dragging this color around, you can also, with it selected, change the color settings here. So I could make it more pink here. At the moment, it's showing hue, saturation and brightness. But if I click here, I could also use something like RGB as my adjustments. So just select whatever suits you in terms of recoloring your artwork. If I click OK, my artwork is going to be recolored to these colors. If I don't like what I've got and I want to start over, I can also just click here on Reset. And that just resets this dialog to what it was when I started up with the Recolor Artwork dialog tool. So there are lots of possibilities for combining the process of image tracing, limiting the colors in your image, and also remapping those colors in the image to a different color palette as you do your image trace in Adobe Illustrator. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've learned things about Illustrator of which you were previously unaware. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.